Hi, today I'm going to teach you on how to solve trigonometry identities. That is part one. And uh, this is the questions that I'm going to solve. By the way, if you want to um, find out about what are the trigonometry identities, you can actually go to the Google website to find, uh, to look at all the possible identities. But right now, what we're going to do is uh, to do this question. So how do we go about solving this question? Well, actually, if you can recall this question, the most important thing that you need to do um, is to actually um, expand this out. By the way, uh, this question is secant x minus tangent x bracket bracket cosine secant x plus 1 is equal to cot x. So I need to prove the identities uh, starting from the left hand side to the right hand side. Uh, usually when we prove identities, we will go um, from the most complicated part to the very simple ones. So, so in order to solve this question, secant x minus tangent x uh, uh, cosecant x plus 1. Um, so first thing first, you know what you need to do for this uh, question is that you uh, you expand this out. So which means you will get um, secant x cosecant x plus secant x. All right, and that's uh, minus tangent x cosecant x minus tangent x. All right, so you get something like a secant x cosecant x plus secant x minus tangent x cosecant x minus tangent x. Uh, next thing I will do is to change all this secant cosecant cosecant and secant all this um, this variables the secant x and the cosecant x in terms of sine cosine and tangent. So it'll be much easier for me to solve. So which means to say that my secant x will be uh, 1 over cosine x, if you were to look at the identities, the cosecant x in this case will be 1 over sine x. Alright, uh, secant x is uh, 1 over cosine x minus, uh, well, uh, minus tangent x. So tangent x, cosecant x is uh, 1 over sine x. Alright, and minus tangent x. Okay, so the next thing we will do is I think I will tackle this, uh, try to tackle this two terms first um, well, by converting it into like um, um, something which I can do. Alright, tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x. Okay, so which means that let's see if I can do something here. Um, yep, yeah, I will take the cosine x is equal to sine x over tangent x. Alright, so this will become tangent x over sine x. Um, 1 over sine x plus 1 over cosine x minus sine x over cosine x. 1 over sine x. So I will cancel this out. And this will become minus tangent x. Okay, so I simplify this term, subtract with this term, will become zero. So I have simplified such that it becomes something like this. All right. Okay, so next thing I will do is to factorize my tangent x out. So it becomes a one over sine square x minus one. Okay, so and which I think it is going to be something like this. All right, sine square x one minus uh, sine square x. So from here to here, basically what we'll do is that this is simply equals to cosine square x over sine square x. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, so basically from here to here itself, uh, from here to here itself, I've used the identity which is uh, cosine square x plus sine square x, it gives you 1. So which means to say that your cosine square is just simply 1 minus sine square x. Okay, so from here to here. Okay, so from next thing from here to here, I will convert my tangent x into sine x over cosine x. And this keeps, uh, this remains the same. So after which I can simply just cancel off, okay? So this is equivalent to cosine x over sine x, and cosine x over sine x will give you your cotangent x, which is equivalent to your right-hand side. So that is it for this question itself. Um, 
actually to solve this kind of question to solve this uh, trigonometry identity part one uh, this kind of question first thing you need to do is expand this out okay expand this um, equation out first after which you convert um, or what I do is that I actually convert the tangent uh, 1 over cosine x here into the tangent x minus over sine x and here itself I convert um, this tangent x into sine x over cosine x after that I will cancel off since uh, since this is sine x and this is sine x I will cancel off I will get 1 over cosine x I will subtract this away from this I will get 0 so which leads down to tangent x um, well, tangent x over sine x, sine squared x minus tangent x. So here, I factorize the tangent x out. It gives me tangent x bracket 1 over sine squared x minus 1. And I I combine this together to form one fraction. So uh, I will get sine squared x. Okay, and this will be 1 sine squared x. So from here to here, I use this identity, which is cosine squared x plus sine squared x gives you 1. And hence, your cosine squared x will give you 1 minus sine squared x. So this is tangent x okay gives you cosine squared x over sine squared x and from here i convert the cotangent x into sine squared sine x over cosine x and i cancel out okay um the sine x and the cosine x and i'll leave it to cosine x and sine x which is my cotangent x so here you go this is how we solve this question second x minus tangent x bracket bracket cosine x plus 1 equals the cotangent x well there are many problems to solve but most important thing is to know how to solve the question um, based by looking at the um, the form of the question itself